At the beginning of this exterior video, I say it's a 1998. This is a 1999. I'm sorry about that. Now on with the video. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. And what I've got here for you today is the exterior review of this beautiful 1998 P38 Range Rover or Land Rover Range Rover in the Callaway edition. No, not the golf clubs, the stinking super duper pooper scooper Corvette people. And this is a very rare edition in these. I think it's number 28 or something. This will be the exterior. I'm gonna go around it quick once around here, show you the once around, and then I'll go up close, show you any up close things about it and all that good stuff. Now the suspension is all the way down now to where you know where it is. We were detailing it, it just looks so good sitting there like that. Just beautiful, look at that. <clears throat> Losing my son? Well, not really. Made it sound like CPS coming to get him or something. But that is the deal. Beautiful SUV. Okay, with that in mind, I'm gonna go right down underneath this thing and show you the underneath, front and back and center. All that good stuff. Some cobwebs. And as you can see, the original airbags are on this. Now it's not all leaky all over. I'm sure you'll find, especially on a Range Rover, you get these cobwebs down. Especially on a Range Rover, I'm sure you'll find a, a damp gasket. I can't reach them, but you can, there we go, yeehaw! You know what they are, they're cobwebs. It's been sitting. All this is nice and uncracked for the package. This side is bent a little bit and could be kind of molded back, I'll bet, with a little heat gun. Little chips all over in the bumper right here and a little scuff right there. But little rock chips that you can see right there. Little scuffs right there. The top on the emblem is melting away. This could be um, buffed out. I'm just buffing it with my finger there and it's mostly coming out, watch. Not even no product or nothing. Um, that's just rubbing it with your finger to get it off. Well, so much could be said right there, couldn't it? Look at that. That's just sitting on there. Okay, so, other than that, these little hood shooters are missing to shoot your water at your windshield. Um, this is dry, but it's in good shape. And I want to say something on this. You can see how that piece was missed. This has like detailing cream on it. So it looks really, really good. And even right in here. But, and this has it on it too. This stuff will be dried out a little bit without the detailing cream on it. Just so you know, I mean, after a detail for a couple weeks looks great. Uh, once you get it dried out again, it's going to be drier looking. So it won't be as nice on that. Uh, beautiful truck. Everything's here. I'm going to go down this side and start talking about anything that's wrong with it. Like these little scuffs here. And the fact that the clear coat, I don't dent it up, just a couple little scuffs. The clear coat is literally coming off that right there. So you know, that piece there. And a little rub through there. Um, the hood and top surfaces have been painted. Um, all this old paint on these years seem to fade and everything. There's one of the coolest things. I love these old P38s. Strong, rock solid, strong motors. Trannies, I've never had a problem with anything. It's just the, uh, the air suspension. Usually, a lot of them get converted. Not to a different religion to the regular solid, and you know that. Little scratchy scratch right there. There's one right there. A little chippy dent in the paint on the gas tank right there. Um, going down the sides, it's really, really straight. It's straight. And the mirrors were painted, you can tell. There's a little run right there. Run, run, run away. Okay, so going down the side, it could be buffed again. This thing has set out on my lot right over there by that Jeep which is coming up next and been moved around because I was going to fix everything wrong with it and I want to drive it around. I like the truck. I like the look of the truck. I'm showing you down the sides. that I'm sure there's a door ding somewhere. All the trim, even the running board trim and everything is in great condition. we got the mud flaps behind the wheels on both on this side. I'm going to check the other side for you. All the trim. Middle trim here, bottom trim there. It's all in great shape. 
Same thing with the handles. They've been detailed out right now. They look wonderful. I'm sure they'll be a little drier at certain times. Behind there, you can tell it's a little drier because it really wasn't even wiped down. Look at that, just took it out right there. It's clean. Glass is good. There's a couple little bubbles here. Tiny bubbles in the paint. And you can tell right there, it's a little drier. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Lenses are good on the back and all. I love them, big fat lenses on the back of these. All your Callaway stickers are there and good. And that would be so easy to make nowadays. I would just, whenever you paint this thing in 10 years, just take them off and get new ones. Tiny bubbles in the back tent there. And I'm gonna make a statement for everybody. I don't know if this is legal in your state. You'll have to check. It's pretty darn dark. There is a small ding that I noticed earlier, right there. And it's the only ding I could find back here. Oh, these are good chrome tip things from the Callaway edition. Oh, extra wires for your plugins. That looks like you could have had a thing screwed into it or something. A little faded right there. All the mud guards on this side are good, and there, beautiful. It's not all dented up or nothing. They're not even all really warped yet. Just a teeny bit. Good tread on it, but they're older tires. And they are showing dry rot here around the edges. Um, wheels. Wheels are nice, but they have that clear coat on them, and it's starting to get non-clear coated. Did that make sense? No, not at all, but that's okay. Front ones don't have that problem as much. I'm sure they're starting to get a little thinner in there. Uh, mismatched tire, there's a Mitchell in here, and be uh, Goodyear's over there. Same thing though, I don't like the little bit of dry rot that there is along the edge. Plenty of tread, right there, see? Same thing on the clear coat on that side. The lenses are just beautiful. I'm gonna go back down that side and show any damage, but I wanted to go check the tires on this side. And you got the same issue. Right there. And gash in that right there, but look at that. It's just not, they're not good tires. These are tires need to be replaced. See there? Okay, so that's the tire situation. Oh yes, thank you for coming over here, Nate. Ding, 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 ding. There's a ding there. I try hard, I wanna show you everything. You're a long ways away. If I seen it, you've seen it, I'll tell you that much. Um, I'm sure I missed a tiny ding somewhere. Lightly, lightly just fading. It needs to be buffed out or something. And this right here. A bubble in the paint right there. Tiny bubbles. Yep, yep, yep. I know. I, not a singer. I'm a car guy. Okay. Is that supposed to be there? No, you're P38. I don't. Yeah, it's supposed to be there. Okay. So that looks good because it's supposed to be there. A little scratchy scratch there, a little scratchy scratch there, and right there you can see um, cloth got stuck on that from rubbing up past it, doing the windows. Little chips right there, a little scratch. Um, down the side is clean, but there's a little scratch there, a couple little marks like there and there. I'm gonna show from the front. The tiny bubbles right there. Lawrence Well, I think so, I don't know. Tell you what, <coughs> pretty darn straight. And I like them chrome tips. I like chrome tips and I cannot lie, right? Okay, a little marker in the side marker looks good. That's a dingy ding right there if I ever saw one. Ding, 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 ding. Okay, that's it. I get people commenting and stuff. You know, that's a very poor way. You're a poor salesman to show the damage on your car. No, it just makes me an honest person. Um, I wanna make sure everybody sees everything. The fog lights down below. I also just got the thought, oh my God, are they cracked? No, that one is not. Let's look at the other one. 
That has a chip in it. It looks good. It does not look cracked or nothing. But there is a rock chip or something, I'll bet. Right there. Doesn't even look it from up top. And here's a small chip right there. Now, I didn't even notice that. You can't see it. It looks fine, but it's there. I just want to be up front. Other than that, this here is just a little bit. Oh, it's because that's pliable. It's just different over time by a teeny bit. That's it. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. That is the exterior review of this 1998 Callaway Edition P38 Land Rover Range Rover. Range Rover. Yeah, I know I said it wrong. I was trying to say stuff there. I say a lot of stuff, I tell you. I say, I say, I say. Okay, that's it. Have a great day or night. Whatever it is, wherever you are, down in the description below, at the end of this video and a link also, there will be a link to see the interior review of this beautiful SUV. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you.